All right, I'm going to change a triple switch. I've got three single pole switches connected on one body. And this is an older style where they only had push connectors in the back of the body and I'm having a little trouble with one of the switches. So I'm going to replace this. And I'm going to replace it with a triple switch that has nice solid screw connectors. And we'll go through the steps. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure you turn off the power to the circuit and then double check it with an electrical tester. And in this case, because there's these push-in wires, and this one came, and that might have been part of the problem. You can see how free that came out. In most cases, you're going to need to use a very small screwdriver or a, a nail to push in this release slot, and that will release the wires from the body of the switch. And so we're just going to push in the tabs and release the wires. And a single pole switch is just a break in the hot. So in a normal single pole switch, it wouldn't matter which wire you connected because it's just a break in the hot. In this case, you can see this box has the neutral wires twisted together with an electrical nut. But in a triple switch, because the body is feeding all three individual switches, you're going to have one screw that's usually a dark color, but they're always going to be marked common. And so you need to know which wire is the hot coming from the breaker box. In this case, I know it's this one, and this is the wire that was connected to the common on the old switch, and that's an important thing to mark. So if you mark the wire with a little piece of masking tape from the old switch, which one was marked to the common, it's a very easy way to rewire your switch. If you forgot to do that, or if it's not marked well, what you can do now is be very careful, separate all your wires, turn back on your breaker, and then you would test each wire, test the wire, and then touch the box, and see which one's live. And there's going to be one hot that's coming from the breaker box. Okay, since these wires were pushed into the back of the old switch and they were straight, we're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and we're just going to put a little loop in each wire. And we're going to shape them so that they go around the screw terminals of the new switch. So I've twisted my wire ends on each one of the leads. And this is the common coming from the box. It's going to go on the common screw terminal and this has the darker color. And I'm going to make sure I wrap this clockwise around the screw terminal. And what this will do is it will actually tighten down on the screw as we turn it. And if we were to wrap this counterclockwise, it can actually push it off and loosen the screw. So we'll snug this down. And now we've got three legs. Each one is a hot going to a switched outlet. We have the light in the entryway here and then we have an outside light. And now we're just going to screw each one of these onto a screw terminal in the same way. We're going to wrap them each clockwise. And one question we get a lot in the store is how much wire do we expose? How much of insulation do we strip off? And it's usually about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And you don't want any of the wire extending past the body uh, you want just insulation here to make it safer. So we're going to wrap these three wires around the screw terminals. And then we're going to... We're going to tuck all our wires back into the box and then we're going to check it by turning on the electric. Okay, turn the electricity back on just to double check the switch. And I want to make sure that in the up position it goes on and when you push the bottom of the switch it's in, it's in the off position. So I know this is wired correctly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the electricity back off to the circuit and I'm going to wrap all the screw terminals with a piece of electrical tape. That way in the future if someone were to pull this out without shutting off the electric, this body is so close to this metal box that it would be a short or shock hazard. So just for somebody's future safety, we'll wrap this with a little electrical tape. So those are the steps for a triple switch. Make sure you know your common wire coming from your breaker goes to your common screw and your legs will go to the other three terminals.